This is the real Tom Rose. And the problem we're solving here fits a common format. We have been given something and we're asked to find something. We've been given the equation 16 times 4 to the n is equal to 4 to the m. And we've been asked to find n. Now, this equa equation looks pretty difficult to solve. And, and it is difficult if you don't know the trick to it. Now, there's when you're trying to solve for variables in exponents, there's basically, the good news is there's basically only one trick. There's one way to solve these, which is at the end of the day, we need to get it into the following form. We have to have the bases on either side of an equation be the same number. And if that's the case, we know that these two clouds must be equal to one another. Because if the two, the two sides of the equation are equal and the bases are the same, the only thing that remains are the clouds. So you can then set the clouds equal to each other. And that's how you'll solve for the variables in the exponents. Now, in the equation that we've been given, you can see that we have two sides of an equation, but the base on either side does not equal each other. On the right, we have a four, and on the left, we have a four, but all of that's multiplied by 16, which isn't going to work. Now, if you happen to notice that 16 is a perfect square, you can use a little trick uh, by converting that into 4 squared. So I'm going to do that. 4 squared is equal to 16. I'm going to plug that 4 squared in here instead. And we're going to end up with 4 squared times 4 to the n equals 4 to the m. Now we're getting closer. We can use rules of exponents to combine the two terms on the left side of the equation. Now one of the rules of exponents when you have a common base such as 4 multiplied by one another, you can simply add the exponent. So 4 squared times 4 to the n is equal to 4 to the n plus 2. And now you can see that we do have a common base on either side of the equation. So we can simply take the exponents and set them equal to one another. So we'll get n plus 2 equals m. We've been asked to solve for n, so let's go ahead and do that. Subtract 2 from both sides. And what you'll end up with is n equals m minus 2 which is answer choice E.